we're going to build the first ever airplane powered go-kart. Previously, we got this airplane engine running. And against our better judgments, we're going to install it on this go-kart and see if we can get scooting. Holy smokes. This is a 1990s Hearth 2703 two-stroke ultralight airplane engine and it is going to absolutely fly. Our guess is that we're not going to have very much torque on this cart, but should have a pretty decent top speed. If we um, don't chop our head off. If you're not nervous for us already, you should be. <laughs> All right, it's time to build a wooden base. We're going to put a couple boards here like this, and then we're going to build a platform that's 32 <laughs> inches off of the top of this. So the whole engine is going to be sitting all the way up here. Sounds sturdy. If you're a woodworker, look away. If you're a mechanic, also look, look away. away. <laughs> if you work on airplanes, Also, definitely look, look away. So who should be looking? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Just make another one of these. We got an airplane stand. Holy smokes, what do you have there? Looking secure. We got two boxes. We're gonna attach them together. Add as much support as possible. And she just may hold. Would you trust that airplane engine on there? Yeah. Who's doing the first <laughs> test drive? Ain't nothing better. More screws the better, they say. <laughs> I'm just gonna go like that on each one and then take it off. Things are getting pretty serious around here. How's she lining up? Perfect. Wow, this thing is heavy. You just built a whole freaking shed on the back there. Feel in. How's it feel? Shake it. There's some flexion. Do somewhere. some dancing up there. Well, what do you think? We have a slight clearance issue. But it's going to do something. Now we just got to figure out how to bolt this plate onto the wood there. She's a bit top heavy also. That's okay. Ain't gonna be doing wheelies in this thing. <laughs> this little guy gets more sidetracked. <laughs> this one's gonna look so nice though. <laughs> Too shabby. Beautiful little fuel pump. Need some new fuel lines. We're gonna strap this puppy <laughs> down and then we're gonna run a throttle down here and hook it up to this. We're getting everything hooked back up and we're gonna see if this runs. We got it running yesterday, but we haven't seen it run today, so that's the goal. Here we go. All right, we're gonna attempt to get it running for the first time now that it's on the cart. Hopefully it doesn't go launching. Stable starting fluid. Let's go.
Anchor. I don't think we're getting fuel. Like it's running with starting fluid. The mud daubers struck again. They clogged our pulse line from the, the main crank. <laughs> huh if you're not sliming your tire what are you even doing? right before you're about to test this thing <laughs> oh boy slime fills cracks right <laughs> let's roll this down the hill and uh see if this kind of moves i guess it's rolling <laughs> this thing is so heavy we're never getting it back up the driveway. Uh. <laughs> Let her rip. First test was okay, we we're going uphill. Here's the downhill attempt. We got her out to the testing grounds. We're gonna give her the beans, see how she does. All right, we gotta do this quick before we get in trouble. Gonna slap a fix for now, sticker on it. Let's put that right on the propeller. And uh, give her the beans. Let's start her up and let her rip. All right. He's trying.
keep up. That is hilarious. It is so loud. Turn radius is not the best. One of the straps is flying awfully close to the prop back there. Got some backfiring from the carbs. branches with the prop. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I can see that. You knackered our prop. Oh, it, it like damaged it. The strap from the seat was... <laughs> um, it's also like one of the carbs is backfiring and overall the whole thing is like way too hot most likely because our fan isn't working and because our carburetor still needs some some adjustment check out our top speed first ever airplane power go-kart did it not work it does it did but it said it only went 12.4 miles <laughs> an hour <laughs> I feel like I was going quicker than that. Looks quicker. We'll call it 25. 25. <laughs> Anyways, what a great success. We did what we wanted to, built a nice sturdy base. This propeller single-handedly pushed this cart forward. Honestly, pretty sweet, very sketchy, but a lot of fun. If you have any ideas for other projects we should put this engine on, you let us know. But to be honest, that's about all I want to do with this car. <laughs> that's all we got for now. So we also just realized that it wasn't actually the bushes I hit, but when this thing is torquing, it hits the <laughs> sprocket. Uh, it's actually not our fault. Well, it is our fault. 
We never tightened this down. Oh. It's supposed to be all the way to the left. So. Minor, ca minor casualty. Just ruined a few hundred dollar prop, <laughs> but that's okay. On to the next one. 